Hello again everybody, Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief from Motherboards.org. Welcome once again to our YouTube channel. Well, as most people know, yesterday Intel once again broke ground. They've released the first six-core CPU to the desktop arena. This is the new i7-980X. Today we're going to be doing some overclocking. We're going to begin with a series of air cooling for this CPU because I know many of you don't have water cooling, and so these videos are for you. Today we're going to be using the ASUS P6X58D, 24 gigabytes of HyperX memory from Kingston, and the new Noctua NH-D14. Follow along as we show you how well this system works, air cooling the new Intel i7-980X CPU. Okay, in this introduction to this overclocking video, we're just going to show you some of the core temperatures at idle speeds. What that means, there's absolutely no load on the system whatsoever. We are just currently in the BIOS taking a look. And right now, things are looking pretty damn good for a six core CPU. We've got 31 Celsius, which comes out to 87.5 Fahrenheit, which is actually lower than your body temperature. That actually gives us a little bit of room to work with because you can get the CPU running to probably 110 to 115 Fahrenheit and still get a good overclock. So after that, we're going to bring you around over here. This is the Noctua cooler. Right here, this is the 24 gigabytes of HyperX memory from Kingston. And so, I mean, even though it's really hard for you to actually see, we are using the ASUS p x 58 d Premium Motherboard. Um, we're just using a little bit of an older video card since we're pretty much concentrating on air overclocking. We're not looking for anything in the video card. That'll be some other review. So all in all, as you can see, this is the basis of our test system. We're also using two Western Digital. These are the old 74 gigabyte Raptor drives, actually the second generation series that came out, and we're using two of those in a RAID 0 configuration. So as you can see, that's the test system. Now we move on and we'll show you some of the overclocking results. Okay, well the results are in. And since the ASUS motherboard has so many features for overclocking, it may be a little bit daunting for those new to overclocking to figure it all out. But if you do some online reading and do some research, you can see that this board offers a many options for the overclocker. And using this new not cool cooler, let me just pull this thing off the floor. This new NHD14, for air cooling, this thing works pretty good. So for all you people out there who want to overclock their new i7-980X and are considering an aftermarket one, you may consider this one. Follow along as our next series of reviews as we switch over to a different air cooler, a different motherboard, and then we begin water cooling testing for those of you who are out there into that. Thanks for watching.